The Neurotrack 10s is a device that has been helping people across the globe deal with physical pain in a variety of forms. TENS is an effective alternative to more conventional forms of pain relief, and many people find that it can be a far better method of treatment than expensive prescriptions and drugs. After buying one, everything you need to use the device comes safely inside an easily clean storage case. One battery, a pair of lead wires, a pack of electrodes, the device itself, and a manual that should be thoroughly read before using the device. We strongly advise talking to your GP or physiotherapist before using TENS, as they may know of a reason why it might not be for you. For example, TENS must never be used if you have a pacemaker. To start, remove the protective strip from the contacts on the battery, and insert the battery following the clear polarity guide inside the unit. Check to see it turns on OK. Next, take out the electrodes and the lead wires and connect them together. Depending on your treatment, you might want to use both channels, but for this example, we'll be using one. Check inside the manual to find out where the electrode should go. The red end of the lead wire is positive, and black is negative. Place the electrodes on your skin. No gel is required for our electrodes to stick and make contact. And if you're hairy like me, there's no need to worry either. They peel off easily and pain-free. Connect the device to the lead wires, make sure you're on the right channel, and then start using the arrow buttons to increase the level of stimulation. With high frequency programs, so above 15 Hz, it should start to tickle as you increase the milliamps. Lower the stimulation to the point where it just starts to tickle and you'll have it right. With low frequencies, it should feel almost like the muscle is being massaged. Just be careful you don't increase it to the point where it forces your muscles to contract you should normally start to feel the pain relief after a few minutes, but it can take longer. Not everyone responds to TENS, and the stimulation should never cause discomfort, so don't worry if it's just not for you. If a complete circuit is not made, a safety feature inside the device will cut the stimulation off at around 5 or 6 milliamps. If this happens, check that the lead wires are properly connected to both the device and the electrodes. Other causes could be that the electrodes have dried out. While they do last a long time, continuous use in the natural oil on our skin can dry the electrodes out, stopping a proper circuit from being made. You can check this by holding the ends of the lead wires between your thumb and forefinger. If the milliamps can go over 10, you know the fault is with the electrodes. Dry electrodes can be saved to an extent by dripping a small amount of water on the black side of the electrodes. Leave them upside down like this overnight, and the gel will absorb the moisture, returning the stickiness to them. Eventually, they will have to be replaced, but by doing this, their lifespan can be massively increased. And most importantly, never use wet electrodes. Now it's time to try it out for yourself. Just follow the instructions, and away you go.